Working with multiple buildings in AutoCAD, which is each on a different story level, can be a very frustrating process. However, with a small manipulation on floor plan, this can be very easily avoided. First thing I need to do is set all the walls to the correct projection settings. This I do by selecting all the walls, clicking on the settings dialog box, and as default, all the walls are set to the projection setting or relevant stories. I'm going to change this to home story only and say OK. Now, when I go to floor plan, only unit 3 and unit 4 is displayed correctly. This is because unit 3 and unit 1 is elevated. As you can see on the elevation, it is not an, on the same story as the unit over here on your right hand side. Firstly, before I start changing settings, I would like to set up a view for each of these units. Go to my organizer with my project map on the one side and my view map on the right. Drag over the stories. I want four copies, so I bring over four copies. I renamed the first one to Unit 2. Rename the first one to Unit 2. Rename the second one to Unit 3. Rename the last one to Unit 4. And the existing one, I'll name Unit 1. Now when I go to my view map, you can see my Unit 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's say I want to make Unit 2 display correctly. All I need to do is open unit 2 in my view map, double click on ground floor, zoom into the area I want to display, click on settings, under zooming I select current zoom and I change my floor plan cut plane settings. I elevated my building 2 meters up so this should be 3100 say OK. Now if I say OK, it should display correctly on floor plan. If this doesn't work the first time, just try it again. It's a known error. So now I go settings again and I get my current window settings. Press OK. As you can see, after I change the cut plane, the other buildings isn't displayed correctly. So you must set up a view for each unit as you'd like. If I go to unit 4, it's displayed correctly because the cut plane is set to its correct cut plane. As well as level 3 because they're on the same story. And if I select unit 2, now this one is displayed correctly. All I still need to do is set up a view for Unit 1. I drag my units over to my layout book. It is all now displayed correctly as it should, even though it's on multiple story levels. And that is how you go about working with multiple buildings on the same project on different story levels.